Hello, this is Haka Jabeen, and today we are going to SCP-022-J. If you like this video, please like, leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get right into this. It's also known as Mimetic Metal. Now, this document has been designated a Elite Class Info Hazard. Your access has been logged, and you will submit to an examination to assess its impact no later than two days from this moment. If you have accessed this document unintentionally, cease reading immediately and contact the Cognito Hazard Research Group. SCP, I have a number, SCP-022 or 22-J. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. Due to widespread public knowledge of SCP-22-J, containment of SCP-22-J is limited to mitigating the damage caused by its effects. To this effect, the following procedures are to be enacted. The, avail the availability of SCP-22-J is to be reduced by any means, including but not limited to suppressing research into more effective ways of refining SCP-22-J. In order to limit the damage to the effects of 22J1, suppressing public awareness of SCP 22J, a physical property to prevent SCP 22J2 effects from manifesting. To this effect, media containing counterfactual information with regard to physical properties and properties of SCP 22J are to be produced and propagated. Suppressing public awareness is Awareness of, of SCP 22J's anomalous properties. Treatment of individuals severely affected by SCP 22J by Class B EMNESICS. And yes, the J does mean that this is a joke SCP. Because of the risks SCP 22J1 presents the Foundation for SDL, especially those in charge of designing containment procedures, any containment procedure proposals. Most concerning relevant words are to be checked by personnel immunized against SCP 2022J1, common agents of choice, chocolate, bet, beer, the Isopon, Zen, and, X, and cannabis are to be available to such persons in to mitigate the effects of SCP 22J2. Description SCP-22-J is a pure, solid form of chemical element commonly known as titanium, of atomic number of 22, with the average molar mass of the average molar mass of 47.86 grams per mole. In its active state, SCP-22-J appears as a shiny hard solid and of density approximately 4.5 grams per centimeter, and melting point of approximately 1,940 1, kilo. SP-22J behaves as a paramagnetic metal in most aspects and possesses a tensile strength of, a, of roughly a 434 MPa, remarkable for its low density. SCP-22-J is an info hazard. Knowledge valid it causes the manifestation of two distinct sets of symptoms, designated SCP-22-J1 and SCP-22-J2. SCP-22-J1 initially manifests when individual with no prior knowledge is supposed to incomplete or erroneous information about SCP-22-J's physical properties as recommended usage. Like, if you don't know what type Titanium is, and you're told that it's like platinum from the Avatar series or something. Individuals under the effect of SCP 22J1 will gradually begin to assert the superiority of SCP 22J as a structural material and recommend or attempt to enforce its use as such whenever possible, even in cases where this has a significant negative impact or functionality. Common terms used by SCP by affected individuals with reference to SCP 22J1 include strongest metal in the world, super tough super metal, refined impenetrable metal, and the He Man of Metal of Materials. 
I have not heard the term human for in ages. In the cases where this behavior induces a performance failure or deficiency and affects the individual or refuse to acknowledge that they fucked up seriously, who the fuck makes a titanium anchor? SCP-22J's role in the instant, inventing increasingly bizarre alternative explanations. SCP-22J2 manifests when an individual fucking gets a clue. Sheesh, it, is it so hard to read a goddamn standard? Sorry. Is exposed to accurate information about SCP-22J's physical properties and the can or and uses guidelines. Individuals already affected by SCP-22J1 can't fucking get in our goddamn hats with a hammer if I hear about titanium B. If I hear about titanium being the strongest metal, well, I will punch him in the dick with a fate is made of. Show considerable resistance to SCP. A 22J2. <laughs> I love this. Subjects affected by SCP-22J2 display signs of anger and mental distress at mentions of here titanium or its usage, to the point of becoming physically violent. This is especially marked when the triggers are usual or vectors of SCP-22J1, such as being containing examples of inappropriate uses of SCP-22J. Treatment with Class B amnestics has been shown to- No! Fuck this! There's no SCP-22J2! There's nothing fucking wrong with me! Anyone reasonable would fucking freak out! I went seeing the 50th SCP proposal only for a 5 foot thick egg titanium walls. You would have punched him M2. I'll give them titanium in their goddamn faces with a titanium device. This is a titanium conspiracy to sell more titanium. Whatever. Or fuck, they make up titanium. I will show them, and who's <laughs> addendum twenty-two J one forward on an unknown date in the in I'm guessing July of the twenty tens while working on SCP twenty-two J report. Researcher Eisenberg, further referred to who as a subject, succumbs to the effects of SCP twenty-two J two. Transcript of security footage follows. Begin log at 7 o'clock p.m. Subject begins work on SCP 22J report. Half an hour passes. Subject commences chewing on a pencil. At 7.41, subject bites, through, bites pencil through. At 7.44, subject sees it is spitting out splinters, curses loudly. At 7.49, Subject loses in his tie, takes out an unidentified pill, and swallows it, taking a drink from a nearby a flower pot and slapping on the chair. At 7.54, Subject resumes work. At 8.38, subject's, subject's typing rate increases. At 8.39, Subject begins bashing the keyboard with his fist. At 20.40, at 8.40, subject tears out a keyboard from workstation and runs out into the joining hall, screaming incoherently. At 8.45, subject uses a keyboard to use a solitary guide, yelling, I'll give you titanium cages, I'll give you titanium ca- Tits, you cunt-whacked ass cheeks. And it's probably subdued. Damn. End log. Closing statement. Researcher Eisenberg was restrained and isolated in Section 7 and Section 5 medical wing on Site 19. Researcher Eisenberg's ex, ex, 2 slash 22J, a clearance was revoked, and he is relieved of his duties until his mental state stabilizes. Work on SCP 22J documentation overhaul has been suspended, and existing document has been classified as a lead class intro hazard.
Where did I miss the footnote? Oh, here it is. Okay. Anyway. That was SCP-22J, also known as Mimetic Metal, which was actually just titanium. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye.